Alright, hello guys and welcome back, and as you can see by the title here, I'm doing a Simpsons tier list. And as you can see by each rank, I've got S, A, B, C, D, E, F. I did the, uh, what's the other tier list? I did a Marvel movie tier list before. I'm doing a Simpsons character one, because as you know, I'm a big Simpsons fan, as you can tell by all the Simpsons videos I've done. So let's rank it. First up, we got Grandpa Simpson. I'm putting him in B tier, mainly just because... I think he's a, he's got some interesting episodes and he's got some interesting characteristics, but sometimes when he starts telling his stories, I'm just like, I'll just get on with the episode. It's just, it just gets boring to me at certain points. With Ag Next, I got Agnes Skinner. I'm putting her in D tier. I think she's had funny moments and she's had a couple of funny episodes and the way she taunts Principal Skinner is quite good, but I don't think she's that great of a character. If I'm going to be honest, completely honest with you. A Poon has a peanut pet along. Oh my god, you're going to nest here. Uh, he's going to nest you just for the fact that they cut him. They decide to stop using a Poo. They decide to stop using the cookie mark. Too many people complained. I hate that. Honestly, I miss a Poo. I feel like he should have still been in the cookie mark. He's had some funny jokes. Um, he's, he's been a great character throughout. He's had some great episodes. And they cut him. That was just annoying. Barney Gumble. Uh, again, I think I'll just put in B. He's had some funny moments. His alcoholism is quite funny as well on some of the episodes, and he's had uh, some charming moments. But I can't put him more than B, I'm going to say. Unfortunately for Mr. Barney there. Bart Simpson, you are S rank, 100%. So you can tell Bart has been one of my favourite characters for ages. He's probably not my favourite character full time, but he is. Um, up there, and he's definitely a high tier character, so I'm definitely putting him here. Carl Carlson, uh, you can go and see it here. Lenny and Carl, speaking of Lenny, I'll put Lenny there as well. Lenny and Carl are both great characters, the, the two side characters, they have interesting dynamics, um, but obviously they only show up occasionally and they don't have too many good episodes. But I think they're both still great characters, I just think they're only like C-tier characters. Mr. Burns, Mr. Burns, you, you're you an A-tier character. I think the fact that he's hilarious, his money, his greed, is just funny, and the fact that he just never dies either, it's just, in, it's just completely hilarious. And he's just like so old, so I, I, I really appreciate Mr. Burns, so that's why he's going to be an A-tier. Chief Wiggum, I think I'm putting you in C-tier. I don't mind Chief Wiggum, but I don't think he's the best character, or the best side character at all. I think, again, just like a lot of the characters, I'm going to be saying this a lot, they've had good moments. But I just don't think they're that great of characters. Same with our next character here, Comic Book Guy. Yeah, you can be C tier character as well. Just because, again, he's a comic book nerd, I love him, and he just does a lot of references and knows a bunch of stuff. I think he's incredibly funny when he gets a chance. But, yeah. Dr. Julius Hipper. Again, I'm putting him as a D character. He hasn't had too many good episodes. He's not the greatest side episode, but they use him, like, all the time. Anytime there's, like, a doctor, so you like, he's always him. Dr. Nick Rever. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. I'm putting him in E. I'm not the biggest fan of Dr. Nick. I think he's only in the first couple seasons anyway. But, I mean, like, the first season, a little bit further than that, so... I don't think they're too bad. Mrs. Krabappel. I'm actually putting her in B tier. I think as the later you go on, the more character she builds, and that actually, I like that for her, because uh, she needs that. So I think she has had a lot of great moments, being Bart's teacher, fourth grade teacher for ages. I think it works. Fat Tony, Fat Tony. I think we'll go and see to it. The mob boss, he is another great character. He's, but again, he's only had a few episodes that you know of. And he's had some interesting or funny moments, but I don't think I have them higher than C tier. Frank Grimes, you'll only know this. He's only been in one episode. Uh, sorry, Grimey. He's only in one episode. He died at the end of the episode, and they've made a couple references to him since then. From the one episode that he was in, like Homer dancing on his grave by accident, Frank Grimes Jr. But yeah, I would. I don't think he is the greatest character, so I'm just gonna put him there for now. 
groundskeeper willy i think i'll put in deed here he again he's an interesting character and as a scotsman i really like him as well and he's had one or two a few good episodes but yeah i don't think i put him higher than a deed here now honestly i have no idea who this guy is so i'm just gonna put him in f because i don't remember his episode at all, so I am sorry to say I can't put him higher than F because of all these characters, he's one I just don't remember. Hans Molman, you can go and see. Just because I think he's he's just one of those side characters that you just show up and it's just like it's just always unfortunate things happen to him. And then when he did the episode where he's just football in the groin, football in the groin, that was amazing. So, I'm putting him in a seat here for that reason. There we go. My personal favourite character in The Simpsons, Homer freaking Simpson. There's not much more to say. Esther Rank, he's had the best episodes. He's had the best moments. Dull is incredibly iconic. So, yeah, he's, he's staying up there. Kemp Brockman. Again, another seat here character. He reports the news and stuff, but I don't think he's that good. As a character, he, yeah, he's had a couple of good episodes, but not much more than that. Krusty the Clown, A tier, he's definitely an A tier character. I love seeing Krusty, Krusty's hilarious, and some of his gags are great as well, so I'm putting Krusty in A. Lisa Simpson, you can go in A as well. I don't think she's like S rank tier. There's some people who that I thought put up here in S rank, but that's my own personal reasons, and the fact that they cancelled him, so he deserves S rank. But I think Lisa definitely deserves the name. I, I can really relate to Lisa on a lot of topics, and I like the way she thinks, so I'm giving Lisa a name. Maggie Simpson, you can also be in A tier. Just, she's a baby, she doesn't really do much, but it's Maggie. Marge, I'm putting Marge in B tier. I'm sorry about that, Marge. I'm not the biggest fan of Marge Simpson, if I'm going to be honest. I like some of her episodes, but... I'm just not the biggest fan of Marge in general. It's it's just a thing. I think she is a good character. But, I, yeah, I'm not the biggest Marge Simpson fan. Martin Prince, you can... The kid that gets bullied. Uh, you, you can be in C tier. Just fun to pick on him, you know. Mayor Quimby. Yeah, I mean C tier as well. I never on C tier. There's not much... More to say about all of those characters. Millhouse, Millhouse Van Houten. You can go in B. Bart's best friend. He's had some funny moments and he's had some iconic moments. So I don't mind Millhouse. I think he's a great character. So I'm gonna go with him. Nels is like you, an A tier character. I love Mel. I love Motor Bits. The Flaming Mel episode, other Mel episodes. He, he's a great character. He's one of the best side characters. And the fact you seem like most episodes because Emma goes to the bar. I think it's great. Ned Flanders. You can go in B tier. I don't mind Flanders. I think he's good. His god spouting drivel sometimes is just hilarious. But I think he's a great character and he's like such a nice person. So, you know. Nelson Muntz. You can also go in B tier. I think he's hilarious and the words ha ha iconic. As well, that's another great one to do, especially when if you had any if you're with friends or something and someone messed that up, just going ha ha is hilarious. Otto, the bus driver, massive addiction, so I'm just gonna put him in D, he's not that interesting. Patty, you're an E tier character, same with Selma. I'm not the biggest fan of Patty and Selma, if I'm gonna be honest. They've had a few good episodes, but they're not my favorite. Principal Skinner, um, you can go and be. I think he's an alright character, and the as a principal he plays his role really well, and he's had a lot of funny moments, especially one of my favorites when he was learning how to flamingo dance, and he throws bitch up the mother on the floor and just starts flamingo dancing on his mother. It's great. Professor John Frank, you can be in B tier as well. I'm a big fan of Professor Frank. I like his inventions, I like his stuff, so I'm going to go with that. Ralph Wickham, eh, Ralph, you can be in C. You've had some good moments and some funny moments, but not the greatest one. Reverend Lovejoy, you can be in D tier. 
I'm not the biggest fan of the Reverend, to be honest. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I can say for Reverend Lovelock. He's not my favourite character. Sea Captain. I think he's had some great moments, and he's had a lot of funny moments as well. Um, but I think I'm basing it off, like, how well you do in all seasons. And some of these characters start to slip um, after you get to a certain number of seasons. So, I think he's probably one of them. Sideshow Bob, my favourite side character of all. Yeah, Sideshow Bob's going in S rank. I love Sideshow Bob, he's hilarious. Every time he tries to kill Bart, it's amazing. Sorry, Sideshow Mel, <laughs> you, you're going in C. Just like Crosley said, you can't compare to Sideshow Bob. Great, Snake. Snake's great. Uh, I'll put him in C tier. We're gonna... I'm not... How's that done up on the camera if I put him in C tier? You're not going to be able to see F tier, but F tier sucks anyway, so you can go and see it here for now. I quite like Snake, and I quite like his criminal ways, so... Superintendent Chalmers, he's had, I think he's had one good episode, so I'm only going to put him in the Troy McClure e characters. You usually see him in the first couple seasons, I think, even the first ten, and he's just usually doing adverts and stuff like that, and then I think there's one where he went out with Selma, but other than that, not much. Waylon Smithers. You can go in... See, I really like Smithers. He's Burns Lackey, essentially. Um, so, but I think he's a very good character as, like, a gay character as well. Lionel Hutz. You're going in D tier mainly because he definitely falls off, I think, after you get past the first 10 seasons. I don't think you really see him. I might be wrong, you may stop seeing him earlier, but I think after a while he just gets a bit repetitive and he's not that interesting. Ooh, careful. Don't want to mess that up. I already had to... Do you want Curtis and Kang? I'm putting them as B tier characters. I love Curtis and Kang. You only see them occasionally. And you have a couple Halloween episodes with them. But I'm, I'm putting them in that kind of tier. Jimbo Jones, you can go and see. You're right, but you're not the greatest. Jasper, D tier. Sherry and Terry. E tier, another race fan. Um, Kirk Van Howe. And you can go and see. McBain, you can go and see as well. Again, okay, most of these characters aren't that interesting. We got Luan, Lovejoy, Cletus. Cletus is pretty good. I'm going to put him in three. He's had some good ones. Bumblebee Man. You don't see Bumblebee Man too often, and he has like some, like not the greatest ones. And then we've got Lou. Lou can go in that. No, they didn't put Eddie. You know, he got Lou. But yeah, there's my Simpsons character tier list. As you can see, S rank, I've got a Pooh. Bart Homan, Sideshow Bob, A rank, Mr. Burns, Crustica Clown, Lisa Simpson, Maggie Simpson, Mo Sislak, B, I've got uh, Abraham Simpson, Grandpa Simpson, uh, Barney Gumball, Leonard Krabappel, Marge Simpson, Milhouse no Van Hout, and Ned Flanders, Nelson Mons, John Frank, Principal Skinner, Coates and Kang, CT, I've got Lenny, Carl, Chief Wiggum, Comic Book Guy, Fat Tony, Hans Marlman, Kent Brockman, Martin Prince, Mayor Quimby, Ralph Wiggum, Snake, Sideshow Mel, Waylon Smithers, Jimbo Jones, Kirk Van Houten, McBain, what's his, what's his actual character's name? I can remember him as McBain right now. Rainier Wolfcastle, that's it. Cletus and Lou. And you have D tier, Agnes Skinner, Dr. Hibbert. Groundskeeper Willie, Otto the bus driver, Reverend Lovejoy, um, Superintendent Chalmers, Jasper, and what's his name? Lionel Hutz. Lionel Hutz. Yep. And then I've got Dr. Nick in here, Patty Selma, Sea Captain, Troy McClure, Cherry and Terry, Luann Van Houten, Bumblebee Man, and as you can see in F, I've got Frank Grimes and this guy I don't know, so that's why I don't know. I mean, I mean that guy's probably only been in one episode and I don't remember it, so he's not going to be that important. But yeah, that's my Simpsons character tier list. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you change anything. If I were to change anything, if they didn't cut up who, I probably would move him from S to A, but it's just because he's my guy. He's my guy. I can't not put him in the S rank. Alright, but that's it for now. So I will see you another time for another tier list that I've got coming. But until then... Um, bye.